There we go. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Got a nice little bass. Thanks to my friend right there who caught some shad. Live line and some uh, shad. Yeah, small one. There we go. Little bitty male. This one, that old little tried and true. Show a true some black. There you go, got your little one, huh? Little video one. Hey, man, he's tiny. You want him? Too little, huh? Alright. Alright, Miss Sakalei. See you later. That's what I'm talking about. Good one. That's a nice sockley right there. Look how pretty. Beautiful. I'll give y'all guys a tip when you're fishing for sockley. You gotta have your drag set real loose. They call them paper mouths for a reason. And what I'm doing here is I'm walking up and I'm throwing in that culvert as far as I can get it. They got a lot of minnows right here that they're feeding on. We caught, I caught two already. A smaller one and a nice size. Hopefully I get me a big giant today, but that's what I'm doing. Make sure you keep your drag real loose and you try to fish with the smallest cork you can get away with because these fish, are, they'll feel that cork and they'll let it go once they, uh, these fish ain't stupid, they're smart. So, let's see if we get any more. There we go, another one about the same size, a little bit smaller. There we go, another one. When you hook them too good, you can barely get the hook out. It's nice. I changed it up. I went to a green and chartreuse two jig. Years ago, I was reading something saying that a green bait looks like a grass shrimp. So I used it, and the first time I used it, I missed the biggest sockley I ever had on my line. He had to be about 20 inches long and close to four pounds. I thought it was a giant bass. Unfortunately, I was right there on that side and I ended up missing that fish and my line broke even though I had my drag set right and everything. It just so happened to break. I must have had a little, little click in my line or something, a little chink in my line and it broke and it was disheartening. That was the biggest sock I ever had. My uncle caught one when this place was over there and uh, he was 4'11". He had it mounted, but he's not with us anymore. And he had it mounted, and it was a beautiful fish. Hopefully we can get one like that. It's what dreams are made of for me. That one must have hit it right when the thing hit the thing. Bing! There we go, another one. That's four for me. Four for me. The soccer lay master over there ain't got nothing yet. He's see, look at that. See, this is what happens when you catch a lot of fish. He tries to steal your spot. I'm gonna throw over there and catch a fish for you. <laughs> That's number five. They might just be on this little green jig. Who knows? You want to try this green jig? 
She's like, right now we had that little bit of rain today and that water coming through the culvert. Uh, that's why I think it's really got them active today because for the past few days, they had a, barely any water moving through here. But you can look out here and there's nothing but minnows and shad everywhere. And that's gotta be what they're feeding on. That and this weather that's about to come through because it's supposed to rain pretty much all night and all day tomorrow. So let's see if we can get some more. I'm on number five. As soon as I say something, nice one.